Hello to everybody out there. Hello, all YouTubers. Uh, welcome to my channel. Appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I do want to go over kind of an overview of a lot of things. You know, I was going over my last video of, you know, six ways that everybody can earn cryptocurrency without having to trade or uh, mine or do any mining. You know what I mean? Investing in mining hardware, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go over a little bit of overview like that uh, with, of that Bitcoin analysis and uh, a few other things in the news. Um, so it's kind of a big overview today. I'm headed to Alaska tomorrow. So I'm gonna kind of go over, uh, kind of again, some overview things, but I did want to touch on, um, you know, the state of mind, a perspective that I think people um, are starting to get very frustrated with the market. Obviously, we, I think we've all been frustrated with the market, but um, to be patient with it and kind of have a good frame of mind with it. You know, uh, one thing I learned obviously uh, early on in my life is if if you want to have and if you want to do things the easy way you're gonna have a hard life okay if you want to do things the hard way you're going to have an easy leisurely life you know the way as far as your personal life goes so that's kind of the way that we've structured things and it and it only works really that way so there we, we obviously made things easier for us so if you want to do things the easiest way it, your life is going to be much more harder um, just basically because you're not it, it, when it comes down to it people aren't trying hard enough um, and trading is not easy it's really what it comes down to uh, it's not an easy thing to do not everybody can do it you can't really not everybody can read technical analysis not everybody can have a good feel for the market um, so to me I would rather have it hard I wouldn't I don't want to have it completely difficult where nobody can, you know, figure it out. But we do need it, you know, as far as trading goes and so on. So it's work. It, it's as simple as that. You know, it's work. Um, and no matter what, you know, when I, I'm saying that there's six ways to earn coin or cryptocurrency without trading, investing or mining, you know, you still have to somehow do some work for it. They're not just going to give it to you just because, you know, um, it, you know, there are things out there now, again, when, we, you know, when it comes to leveraging data and so on, like Google does and Facebook does. Now there are things out there, and we're going to get into that, um, that you can just post things and, and sell things, and, and you're making crypto just doing that based on the, the economy of that you know, app or uh, coin or whatever, blockchain, so on and so forth. The great thing about that is, I mean, it's, it's a great thing. But you still have to work. It's simple as that. It's not something you can just say, well, I just want to do it on my leisurely time. I'll do it once a week and so on. So no, it, it kind of makes you work to keep the the environment of that coin working and running. And so it makes sense. It's a win-win. You have to have a win-win situation. If you're going to try and look for all win for you and a no win for nobody else, it's not going to work in the crypto world. Um, so at least from what I've been you know, seeing and uh, starting to really recognize that um, the best ones out there are the ones that are really pushing decentralization and um, you know communities of, of, of people worldwide. Those are the ones that I think are really taking off mainstream and, uh, and helping the world. It's, it's solving a problem. It's as simple as that. You know when people are make uh, new products and so on, you see this stuff on Shark Tank all the time. People go in there and they have a product. And the first thing the Shark Tank people say is, what is it solving? It's not solving a problem. We don't want it. Get it out of here. So it, it's really that's, you know, baselines on, on things when we're bringing these things out. It doesn't matter in the cryptocurrency world. We're now having the same thing. You know, we're all investors when it comes to ICOs and coins and so on. We're investing in these coins to make a profit. But if they, you know, again, if they you don't have, let's say, a working product, you know, for ICOs, you know, I'm, I'm not even looking at you because you don't, it's just an idea, you know, and, and also what are you taking care of? What are you fixing? You know, what problem are you fixing in the world? That everybody's going to want to use this, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go over a lot of that stuff uh, in this video and, and I'll kind of show you. So please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you guys, but it has great value to me and the dogs that I'm going to be rescuing in the future so um let's get right into it
All right, so looking at the coin market cap today, we're at 256 billion, all right? Bitcoin is just hanging around that 7,000 mark, went up 2%, great thing to see. It was went down around 6,900, I believe. So, um, you know, the analysts that I, that I look at, you know, a lot of, I have like six or seven analysts that I kind of uh, bounce off of to uh, get gauging perspectives, so on and so forth on their technical analysis um, compared to mine and if we're on the same wavelength. So on this Bitcoin, and everything you know it, it's kind of going sideways now so it's a good thing to see it's not going down anymore um and really the question is are we still in an are we, are we in a bear small bear market you know short bear market i should say or are we still on just in a bull market and we're just doing kind of a small abc correction and they're going to be moving back up that's the question so and, and again there's still the question is still out there because based on this it could be just a trap it could have just dropped down Three, four hundred bucks, gonna go sideways, and then it's gonna pop back up just back to this baseline level, if not a little higher. That is called a trap, okay? It's as, it's as simple as that. People do this all the time when it comes to ABC correct, corrections. Not saying that's what's happening, but it, things that you have to watch out for because we're still on that precipice of, you know, death crosses, our volume's not up, Bitcoin dominance with the volume, and it's just, it's not, not a lot of things are, the dominoes aren't set up correctly to, be knocked over for a, you know, long-term bullish um, upward trend. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking at here. So, you know, ooh, Denticoin's up there, 5%. That's good to see. I'm, I'm down on Denticoin, but that's all right. I got a lot of tokens, so I don't see it going too far up, probably 2x, 3x in the next uh, hike. I'm digressing, though. So the 24-hour changes here, Pundi X. I knew Pundi was going to go up. And I should have bought some yesterday because I, I Pundi X is a great, uh, you know, uh, project and, and it went down dramatically. And I, man, that was a low price. I should have got in. Would have made an easy 25% in a day. Um, bats, you know, should have done the same thing with Bat because I'm, I'm the one on the Brave. Uh, and I said I wasn't going to use uh, Google. And the first thing I did, I woke up this morning and clicked on Google instead of getting on Brave like I should have. Because, um, again, that's one of the six ways to earn cryptocurrency is to use the Google browser platform um, with BAT, be a basic attention token. So uh, let's move out of the cryptocurrency market and move into some technical analysis. This is the Fam Unger family that I kind of um, bounce off of. Oops, I'm going real too slow here. Um, and this is today's analyst. He does this on a daily basis. Now, the things that I want to touch on today... Um, was a couple things. We are hovering around 7,000. Okay, so in a bear, this bull scenario, um, he's basically saying we're if, if this down move is only wave two, turning back up above 6,700, and we haven't even hit 6,700 uh, on this last drop. So the main thing is volume needs to increase. It's really the big thing for the bull scenario to happen. You know, uh, it just really has to. I mean, this fluctuation of volume is, is just really going to hurt us in, in the long run. And guys, again, we only have four guys and gals. We only have four months left, you know, for this. So uh, bearish. We dropped from the death cross, which confirms lower highs. Very bearish. Again, uh, it could could be because we're still on that question or, or is this a trap or not? So after putting it in a, in a first low, we see a dead cat bounce, which stays below 7,600. No, uh, peach their own when it comes to that, you know, because again, we don't, I don't, I'm not really considering myself in a bear scenario. I consider it a ABC correction at this point until more data tells me otherwise. So, um, what did I, I wanted to touch on something big on this. It was somebody, something was something they were saying that basically, uh, we need to, man, where is it? Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Yeah, so this uh, this green here and, and red is what he's kind of showing here. Okay, green. Clean break of the purple pivot, okay, would mean the move below the range low was just a trap. So that's kind of what I was saying. So and that's kind of what he's, you know, and, and I, I like this because I kind of go off this too. Um, I, I don't know what he's using as a purple pivot besides the Fibonacci. Um Red, clean break of the tweezer lows would constitute a bearish break in market structure and would be good evidence that market wants to leap, that wants to reach lower. So, 
he's basically saying that we bounced, okay? So are we gonna go back up or are we gonna go sideways and, and not be a trap and go lower? So um, kinda agree with that, you know, possibilities right there. And more probability these things are gonna happen, I think, than anything. So let's move into my technical analysis here. Uh, I know it may look a little daunting, you know, it's, it's just there's only about three or four um, technical analysis uh, indicators I use. So the Ichimoku cloud is one I do use. This is on a day chart from Coinbase. So we, we kind of moved into that red cloud and now it's just kind of moving. Again, it's the clouds acts as resistant points um, for pricing and on a daily basis. So we're, we are underneath our uh, our gradual annual line here that I, I pasted it on the tips as you can see um, and it, we broke that tip basically so we need to get up over that basically and then of course our uh, corridor here has been completely broken and needs to just go back up into the 84 85 once you break the 8500 I think uh, you know a lot of people are saying not just the fam Unger analysts but other analysts that I, I uh, look at and other youtubers are saying 84, 8,500, which we were hitting last time, which kind of makes sense. Um, but technolysis does really um, verify that. So some news I wanted to get into, just a little bit of news. Okay, organized crypto trading groups manipulated markets to make 825 million this year. Okay, so how do they do it? They're groups, organized trading groups using services such as Telegram, okay? The Wall Street Journal claimed in a study released August 5th. What do they do? Pump and dump schemes. These traders are groups of traders. They inflate and crash the prices of various cryptocurrencies all over this year, and they made $825 million. Man, how do I get into one of these groups? Because, I mean, if the SEC is going to allow it to happen, I mean, $825 million is on the table on a yearly basis, sign me up until the SEC can figure that out. I mean, I'd rather do play this game than I would with Tether. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to be, a, you know, uh, uh, an unscrupulous type person. But again, you know, we go by law, right? So if we're allowed to do this, I, I want to be in on it. Man, how do I get on a trading group, right? You know, I'm, I'm probably not that, uh, that savvy when it comes to uh, pump and dump schemes and how do they work because I just I stay away from these uh, as much as I can. But Man, 825 bucks, man, sign me up if I can get into it, you know? Uh, just kind of an off joke there, you know, but still, geez, you know, I, who, who wouldn't want, you know, 800, a, a piece of 825 million to, uh, you know, F the market up a little bit for from pump and dump schemes, you know? I mean, geez. So just want to touch on that, you know? You know, this is why the SEC is needed. We need to get this manipulation out of the markets, pump and dumps, tether. All that stuff needs to go before, before in, in, in big money investors and NYSE wants to open up their own exchange to help offset, you know, the possible bubble that the stock market's in. Not going to happen if we're having manipulation like this happen. Eight hundred twenty-five million. No way investors are going to get into that. So moving forward, crowd holding. Okay. Uh, if it'll load, crowd holding is a way people can earn money by posting okay and what this does is basically projects post on here and this one is one that i'm actually looking into now mainstream for the underground okay and uh basically what you do is you post and you put out you put down what you think um you know what these people are doing what they think uh you know problems are with it uh you know what things are look good on it so i mean just giving them your basically your two cents about their project and uh, they reward you and they have 800 yup and 25,000, which is their own coin, this MFTU coin. Uh, and they have two coins, I believe, yeah. The CFM and the MFTU have two different functions. CYFM have two different functions for token and coin. So, but point is, for this crowd, or what is it, a crowd holding, um, I posted yesterday on one, and... Uh, you know, we'll see how it works. I, I'm, I'm just giving everybody an update on how these things work. I don't, I don't expect everybody to try these things, so I'm going to try them out. And uh, if they do happen to become, uh, you know, lucrative, then I'm going to keep doing them. You know, I mean, I just post my two cents about it in, in the areas that I am strong. 
Um, so, and then we'll go from there. You know, I don't know that much about coding and so on and so forth, but I do know about a lot about Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens. So that's uh, why I posted um, onto this uh, project. But it's, it's a great, you know, kind of thing to see. It's in beta. So crowd holding just kind of came out and, um, you know, you can get free, uh, free yup, basically free yup coins for the most part. Um, so the MFTU one that I was showing you, uh, was a good one. Um, let's see if we can get back to, yeah, mainstream for the underground. Okay. So this was about posting, uh, getting people's songs out there on the radio. Um, and it works, you know, people are getting their songs out there and it's able to, um, copyright all their songs for them and so it's doing all that for them so they don't have to now one coin I did move into when I first started um, and I and I followed crypto crow on this um, and I'll call you out crypto crow because uh, you know you are talking this up based on your knowledge in the music world and so on and so forth because you used to promote people and so on and so forth and vest vest was one of these coins that I went and got into and when I think it was at like a dollar fifty or something per coin and I was really a rookie when it comes to trading cryptocurrency at that point and it's down to like two freaking cents right now I'm lost 98 percent on this freaking coin they still drop me because I'm a coin holder um they they drop me a lot of you know just drops for heck for holding the coin for so long I've had it for like eight nine months um and uh you know, they're starting to move along now that I'm looking at their at their app you know this uh, website you know it looks a lot better um, you're able to actually buy pieces of songs. They don't have very many big names out there quite yet, but they are getting some. So, uh, you know, Vest is starting to look better, but it's not going to happen for the next, you know, year or two, I think, with them because it's just, I sorry to keep scrolling up and down, but I just want to want everybody to kind of see everything. You know, the, you know, the app looks great, amazing, very much different from six, seven months ago. Um, the team it looks oh good. I mean, they have some really good people in there, and, and so it, it, my point is, is you know, this is kind of how I'm 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 helping out with crowd holding here is when you can post onto here, and then you can refer to type of coins that are kind of similar to this to kind of help them out and show them what hey look you know Vest tried this uh, similar approach and it's not working for them. So you might want to rethink your stuff, blah, blah, blah. They'll give you coin just, you know, for stuff like that. Um, if you're upvoted and so on and so forth. So again, I'm trying it out and I'll let you guys know about it in the future here. Now, one that I am really kind of, um, excited about, and I got on it yesterday. Um, is this in power? Okay. Or this is an open alpha, um, uh, you know, testing, I guess, mainnet. And uh, it's working pretty good, you know. I mean, I I, I am up to eight hundred one hundred eighty seven dollars in USD. Man, it's a, it's a democratic economy. Ninety seven percent of the profits go back into. So whoever's on here, it works like Facebook. Um, you know, there's a lot of tiering going on. So when you tier up to make more money and when per post and so on and so forth, you got to pay for it. So it's pay. So right now I'm just, I'm at the lowest of the low, like an orange, you know, newcomer newbie or something like that. And I've already made $187 in less than 24 hours. Holy shit is what I say. Now there's a lot of stipulations. You can't pull this money out for the first 90 days. And then 90 days after that, you can start pulling money out. But your money has to be matured 90 days. So say I'm making money in August and I want to pull it out in November. I can only pull out November, August money. I can't pull out September's money. You can pull that out in December. So it's it's kind of a stair step type of thing. So it makes sense, but it keeps the economy working. That's why they hold you in here for 90 days. And then you can buy things in here and so on and so forth with this money right now. So it, it keeps things moving in the economy and so forth. Man, it's a great economy. As far as I can see it, it works as Facebook. You can buy things. People go and pick it up for you and drop it off at your house. Uh, you can use the postal service. It's crazy. It's, I mean, it, it's really great. You know, it's hooked up to your PayPal or, you know, or debit card. So they can, once you're ready to mature and, and, and take your payments, it goes right into your PayPal account, goes right into your debit card. This thing is set up very, very, very well. I'm, I'm, I'm testing it as I go. OK, um, you know, I put my YouTube channels up in here and, you know, hello this morning. Um, I'm selling things like this Tom Petty record. Um, you know, I, I do, they have a wheel. 
So when you, know, you you meet your goals, your daily goals, and so on and so forth, you get to spin a wheel. I made three hundred or three dollars and forty nine cents eleven hours ago by spinning a stinking wheel. I mean, it's great. It, I mean, you you like things, you repost things, you help people, you know, sell their things and so on and forth. You're getting paid for all of this, just like we do on Facebook, except now. You get paid for it, you know, and, and, and you keep doing it on a daily basis. And then in August, you get to cash out your August winnings in, in November. So it's, a, it's after 90 days, the first 90 days, then you can start doing it. So far, so good is what I say. I'll let you guys know about it more, but I list on here. I sell things. I post on here. I help other people sell things and post on here. It's a great platform. So I'll, uh, I'll let everybody know about, uh, you know, crowd holding and empower for the most part on how they're working, um, earning cryptocurrency without trading or investing, okay? And uh, last but not least, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Yesterday was 25. Today is 25, so sentiment hasn't changed. Um, And due to the price of the coin market cap and everything and Bitcoin going sideways, so volatility is kind of staved. Um, it's, 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 It's flatlined for a second, so it makes sense why this sentiment is still 25 so uh you know my name is crypto dog to the rescue please smash the the like button hit the bell comment below Uh, it all has great value to me remember i'm still doing the 100 subscriber giveaway so uh please uh, leave your ethereum address and bitcoin address below so i can send you 20 dollars to put on the the cold storage coin when the random winner wins so you guys keep up the grind have a great tuesday